Hey there, how was doing? This is Kali from TechFans here. So in this video, we will be seeing that how to install Android 10 or any other AB partition GSI on Asus Zenfone Lite L1. For this, you should need to be in Android by beta of Zen UI in Lite L1. Also, you need to disable DM variety because of that the camera and the flashlight won't work. So why is this method? Well. You are using Lite L1 as your secondary device and want to taste some different kind of GSIs then you can boot most of the GSI using this method. It boots on all the GSIs, probably everything. But if you are having as a primary device then you won't, I won't suggest you to use Pi Vendor to install AB partition GSIs. Well, you might have doubts on GSIs, partitions and DM variety stuffs. I got it. but. If you want me to explain about those things, just let me know in the comment section. If I get more than 5 comments, I will definitely make a video on it. So for now, let's get started. Before we getting into the tutorial, I just want you to know about the required files. You should need Android Pi TWRP latest AOSP GSI which should be ARM64 AB partition as our device now supports system as a root on Android by Zen UI beta. After that you should need DM variety disabler and permissive 5. You can also have decrypt by but it's not required at all now. Here I'm using latest AOSP 206 ARM64 AB partition with G apps. I suggest you to use the same. Once you have all the things, extract the GSI and copy all of them into a single folder and keep it in your external memory, I mean in SD card. As you can see, I am currently in Android by Beta. Back up all your internal and external. I am just turning off the device and booting into recovery. If you don't know how to install TWRP on Android by beta then watch the video which appears in the i button right now. Once you booted to TWRP, go to wipe and format the data by typing yes. Once it is done, come back and advance wipe. Select Dalvik system and cache. Swipe to wipe. That's all. Now come back and go to install. Select install IMG option and flash the AOSP GSI to system partition. Once it is done, come back and select the install zip option and install the DM variety, permissive file and decrypt patch. It's not required but hey, I'm just using it. Once it's done, that's all. Reboot to your system. The first boot takes 30 seconds to 2 minutes, so please be patient. Once it is booted, complete the FRP, done all the logging in, connecting to internet, updates, everything. It takes some time. So, it takes some time. Yeah. 
here we are in android 10 as i mentioned earlier the camera and flashlight won't work also we don't have the old patch for android 10 people are still working on it so i will definitely make a video on it once we get it on android 10 but the good news here is PS has added the oreo vendor support for aos p 206 gsi which means we can boot this build using the oreo vendor and with gsi bootloop patch it works but there you need to use arm 64 a only build not a b partition anyway i will upload a separate video on it and i am not going to use this aosp on pi vendor i will switch to oreo and then i will install it on top of the oreo vendor so it supports both the flashlight and camera if i use it in non oreo vendor i have been using this one for last few days review is coming really soon thank you for watching code moto